Hello and welcome to the Tankspot Icecon Citadel Raid Guide. My name is Eliana and in this video I'll cover everything you need to know about the normal mode 10-man version of the Blood Prince Counselor Encounter. You're faced with three opponents in this fight that all share the same health pool. However, you can only damage one of the princes at any given time. Who this is changes periodically but will always be visible by the red blood ball surrounding one prince that indicates the invocation of blood buff, which makes them more powerful but also vulnerable. We used the setup of two tanks, one ranged warlock tank and three healers to counter the princes, but other setups may work just as well or even better for your raid team. Prince Valona is a kinetic type of enemy whose main ability is Shock Vortex that turns into Empowered Shock Vortex when he is invocated. His cup also runneth over a lot. Shock Vortex creates a wide swirling ball on the ground that'll knock back enemies within 13 yards of it and also deal about 6000 damage, but it can easily be avoided after it has been cast. Empowered Shock Vortex, on the other hand, will inflict damage to all enemies within 30 yards, but also makes every raid member within 12 yards of one another take additional damage depending on how many people are close, and also knocks them back. So pay close attention to whether Valinar casts Empowered or Normal Shock Vortex, and make sure to be spread out if it's Empowered Vortex. Valinar is always the first prince to get Empowered. The other ability he has is Kinetic Bomb, which is just a beach ball hovering in the air that drifts towards the ground unless it is consistently damaged. When it hits the ground, it inflicts raid-wide damage with a knockback, so make sure to keep it afloat. Prince Kalaseth is a Shadow Element Prince we used our Warlock tank for. He'll consistently cast Shadow Lance at whoever is tanking him, which hits for about 16,000 damage without resists. To counteract this, your Kalasath tank needs to pick up the dark nuclei that spawn periodically throughout the fight. Our lock said he just cast corruption on them to get them to follow him, but either way you always aim to pick up at least 3 of them. Each of them will decrease your shadow damage taken by 35% and this buff stacks, but it also makes you take some minor consistent damage. When Kalasath gets invocated, he'll cast Empowered Shadow Lens, which hits for about 80k, so you see why you want to keep at least 3 walls around you at any given time. They disappear after a certain amount of time, so don't stop collecting, gotta catch them all. Taldoram is the Fire Element Prince. He'll consistently cast Glittering Sparks, which is a frontal cone ability that deals about 14k damage and slows movement speed of anyone getting hit. Ideally, this should just be the tank. More importantly, Taldoram's main ability is Conjure Flame, which summons a flame ball wherever he is currently standing, that will then float over to a random raid member and deal some damage to its target and anyone nearby when it hits. When the Fire Prince gets Invocation of Blood, however, the flame he conjures turns into an Inferno Flame, much bigger than the normal one, and also picks a target and floats over to it. The more people that get hit by this ball while it's traveling to its target, the smaller the ball gets and the less damage it will inflict when it reaches its target. However, it will always cause at least 10k AoE damage, so no one should be near the target after weakening the flame. He will cast this frequently while empowered. As long as you have the raid awareness to deal with shock vortexes and inferno flames, and your Kalosath tank is competent at picking up purple balls, the Blood Prince Council shouldn't cause you much trouble. Coordination and awareness go a long way on this fight. Good luck and have fun! As always, thank you for watching this movie. Feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers, so if you'd like to learn more about that, just click the second link in the movie information box.